This is what the inside of a data center looks like. These wired machines are responsible for our internet, but the more they run, it's easy for the technology to overheat. Abhishek Sastry, who also goes by Abhi, is a UCF graduate with a degree in aerospace engineering. He's now CEO of a company called Fluex that is trying to create cooling systems for high performance computers and data centers across the nation. So I see Fluix being the cooling company of the world, a hardware and software ecosystem that allows buildings to be so efficient that can be renewably powered and offer internet to everyone. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, data centers can consume 10 to 50 times the amount of energy per floor space of a commercial building. They account for 2% of the total energy use in the U.S. I'm standing outside the Colo Solutions data center here in downtown Orlando, and inside is where Fluex tests ideas on how to cool down technology in an always-on society. Colo Solutions Chief Executive Officer Tom Pittman says that the two Orlando companies have been working together since January and thinks people should have an in-depth understanding about cooling systems. The idea of cooling is not really throwing cold on it, the idea of heat, I mean, of cooling is removing heat. There are multiple, sometimes, you know, does, a huge number of chips inside of a server, and those things can get as hot as a pizza oven. As of now, the short-term goal for Fluex is to partner with data centers that have a need for cooling solutions. This will set the company up in the future in order to use its product in every high-use case building on the planet. In Orlando, Terry Gilliam, Jr., UCF Nightly News.